Uh, M0 YKS back with you. I'm just continuing my uh, little review on the PWR check which I recently received from uh, West Mountain Radio Company. I'm about to set it up so I've got the, uh, the soldering iron out. Uh, I've done a little bit of uh, tinning. I've just tinned uh, this piece of wire. Got some reasonable cable. I'll just put a bit of insulation tape. This is going to be the negative side. So what, what came with the actual uh, PWR check is this uh, nice little bag of components which basically are, are the connectors they're uh, like quick release plug-in connectors pretty handy I've uh, fitted one already to the uh, positive side the red one so I'm about to continue messing around I'm going to put this uh, this is the actual insulation kit clip which is a quick release to the uh, PWR check device and uh, these are the uh, small connectors which you could crimp on you could crimp a wire on Oh, it's like a little spade terminal with a slight bend on it. Nice uh, aluminium, nice quality. I've decided to uh, solder them on more permanent. So I've tinned the wire uh, in advance, got a bit of solder on there, and I'm about to put on the spade connector. So hopefully it should be pretty straightforward. The wire's at a little bit of a funny angle for me. I'm actually knelt down to make the video, so try a bit of kneeling down soldering. <laughs> The other one's pretty easy, so get the old iron in there, a little bit of heat in there. You don't need too much because it's aluminium, so it's a very good conductor. I'll put the flat side of the iron down on the spade terminal to uh, transfer the heat a little bit quicker. I should see the solder moving and melting, add a little bit more, watch it flow down the joint. A bit like plumbing, <laughs> but we're plumbing with wires. A little bit more on for good measure. Watch it run down, a little bit at the bottom. That's melted in nicely. So, check if there's too much excess solder. A little bit on the bottom. But nothing to, uh, should really cause me a problem. So this is what I like about these. These are uh, slip-on. Really quick, really easy. If you've got a, a large diameter, or should I say surface area. Diameter, whichever you want to call it. And then that's a little bit of a smaller end, which clips into the device. So these spare connectors line up. They've already got a little connector in there so it's just a case of putting it in make sure I get it the right way around give it a push make sure it's firmly home and that's a finished off job I don't know if you can see the actual terminal in there yeah I think you can see it hold it there bit of a bit of a wibbly wobbly going on there but yeah you can see that I think so that's that job done nice I like that so that's uh, what you get in the box the PWR check from West Mountain Radio. I've got a few more, quite a few more there. I've got enough to put a couple more cables on. I've been reading the manual so far and um, I think the device will be pretty good in the mobile. Uh, it, it, from what I can gather it's going to be a good piece of kit for monitoring the uh, the power, the continuous power supply, making sure it's steady. You'll see uh, the amperage being used uh, and it'll record that uh, and the software will also allow you to Set uh, um, alarms, things like that. So if you if you've got a problem, where I think it'd be particularly useful would be when you're uh, portable using a, uh, a a battery system, uh, for, such as a vehicle. It would be great because it gives you a readout of how many amp powers you've got left uh, and how much power you're drawing, and so on. So it protects you. Make sure you don't uh, have a flat battery. So it's good for in the shack and in the car, from what I've been reading. So obviously the next stage is to uh, put it into action so I've soldered the wires I'll uh, be back with you shortly when I uh, decide to put it in line which will be in a minute whoops okay welcome back power check from West Mountain Radio installed and operating correctly got a voltage reading of 13.83 and at the moment we're just showing 0 0.02 or 0 0.02 amps and 0 0.21 watts so it's all working, we've got it in line, we've got the uh, connectors soldered on rather than crimped and basically the power supply unit is this one here capable of uh, 60 amps, the device uh, works up to 40 amps so I won't be running anything higher than 40 amps which is the, uh, the maximum so obviously I won't be uh, doing that I'll be running about 30 so We'll see how it goes. This is the display button. We can change this, the format to the amp reading. 
can still see the volts and the watts in the corner there we can change it so you've got the main screen as the wattage reading or we can have the amp power reading if we connect it to a battery say a working mobile or portable and then we can have a nice display showing a uh, bit like your electricity meters <laughs> with a voltage readout same for the amperage same for the wattage and same for back to where we were so I'm just going to uh, show you the software before I transmit a signal and give you a, a uh, comparison and a readout. This is a software, relatively easy to uh, install. Uh, put it on, run it running Windows 10 and uh, a fairly up to date PC. And it seems to be working okay. So what we've got at the moment, we've got a line monitoring the voltage, which is showing us it's at the uh, just below 14 volts, 13.8 volts. A steady flow, so we can see that there's a perfect smooth power supply reading and uh yeah that don't look like there's any problems going on there it's looking good i'll have a proper look at the software and probably come back and do a little bit more of a video but at the moment i'm just getting used to the uh setup on this side we've got the reading out which is the same as what's on the actual device uh obviously we can see on the computer screen would be handy if your device was in a place which was not visible but obviously i've mounted mine in a visible uh, location got the voltage current meter uh, so that's looking nice so going back to the device then so I've got it mounted to my uh, homebrew lattice tower and uh, beam antenna which I thought would be a pretty good place to uh, put it on I have interfaced the uh, USB mini USB port cable and strapped it to the side of the tower to stop it moving and it's resting nicely so I'm using the FT1000 Mark V uh, MP uh, and I've checked the frequencies clear and the power amplifier is about to get switched on so what I'll do is I'll put it, the, uh, the, the uh, phone or should I say the camera to the meter and power it up and see what happens so the amplifier is now switched on like I said there's a great change no fluctuation on the voltage uh, slight change of power it, it went up to 33 not point 0.33 it's back down to 021 so that's that so now I'll just do a little bit of transmitting mic zero yankee kilo sierra testing testing mic zero yankee kilo sierra i like the wattage readout mic zero yankee kilo sierra testing so we had a readout on there we've got a nice readout on the screen a little bit wobbly but i'm doing multitasking <laughs> we'll try again mic zero yankee kilo sierra mic zero yankee kilo sierra testing testing so i peaked up a little bit there up to uh about 12 amp on that one and it gave us a power readout watch the power audio 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 testing mic zero yankee kilo sierra so there you go, up to 171 watts. I said I was running about 200 or I didn't say, but I was setting my amplifier to what I thought was roughly 200 watts. Now I know it was 177 watts. So that is an excellent demonstration of that. I'm just going to change the display format. Uh, we'll put it to the, well, we'll go through them all. We'll go back to the beginning, put it on the amps, and we'll see what it's looking like. So, mic zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. So there you go, that, that changed. Put that one on. Wattage, mic zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. Testing, testing, mic zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. So that's a great reading of wattage. Very accurate. Telling me about my amp powers, I don't think that really applies to the power supply unit that I'm running. But with to the battery, let's look at this scale. It's reading the voltage, shouldn't change, I would imagine. Mic zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra. But we're still getting the uh, readout. M0, YKS, audio, testing. Very nice. I am liking this, this is pretty cool. So let's put it on the amps. We'll check this one out on the scale. Audio, audio, testing. So, peaking at 20 amps on that one. And we have a readout of there of the power, the amps. We've got the scale going on on the software, showing us just where the peaks are. The voltage curve, slight fluctuation. 
very slight you can see it where when the transmission is made so that's pretty uh, interesting we'll just change the scale now back to the the uh, wattage and see what that looks like audio 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 mic zero yankee kilo sierra testing audio well the scale says 177 i believe out of a thousand watts which is quite a uh, uh, a measurement so yeah first tests for the pwr checker looking very positive uh, i must say it was easy enough to install and uh, yeah i'm loving every minute of it so far so we'll get back to you with more re reviews and see how it's going but right now i'm liking it this is m0 yks over and out